Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is Sri Raj Melath this is the second chapter of our react js series and in this video we will be discussing about how to set up tailwind css in our react js project come let's quickly start the tailwind setup in our react js project in the previous chapter 1 we set up our react js project folder and here is our first project we have created using wheat and inside that we have the node modules the package json and all other files so we can edit this using our vs code code editor i have shown everything in this previous project and here we have to install our tailwind css so tailwind is basically for styling if i open the browser in the previous video we made changes like changing the title to first react app and score is 25 this changes we made now just clean up the project so for that i will be folding this div here and i'm just removing all the code here i am just adding a div inside the div i am writing the title as first app so what i did is i have removed all the code this also we don't need and in the top we have a lot of import statements i'm removing those also and just cleaning up everything so i have basically cleaned our app tsx file so here this is a function for app component and inside the app component it's returning a fragment this is an empty tag empty tag in react is known as fragment so this act as a parent component so inside the parent component we have a child div containing the first app as title okay let's run the app so for that i am running npm run dev to run the app so if i run i can open i can see first app in the center okay so this is the first app we have built so i'll be making this as a title using h1 tag i am just adding a h1 tag here so inside h1 i am putting our app name first app or first project is our project name or let me keep as first project okay come let's check out our output so here our first project is showing as the title so i need to apply tailwind css into this so for that i will go to a new tab and search for tailwind react wheat so we're going to set up using wheat since we have set up the react app using wheat we will be using tailwind react wheat so installing tailwind css with wheat okay open the tailwind css website and here we are inside the installation menu so getting started with tailwind css so there are different methods using wheat using post css cli etc we are set up using wheat so the instruction step 1 step 2 step 3 all are step by step given beautifully here we have the npm install tailwind css and a uh, tailwind css slash wheat so this we need to copy and run in our terminal so in this terminal already we are running the app and i am opening another terminal here so if you don't have another terminal just click the plus button new terminal will come up and ensure that you are inside your project folder so right now i am inside react js this is our parent folder but i should come inside the project folder so inside the first project this is our project folder here we have the package json etc node modules etc so we have to come inside this project in the terminal for that i have to hit cd space first project and enter so now i am inside the first project folder inside the react js so here i have to paste the command i have copied npm install and tailwind css and it's running right now so it will take a while for installing the tailwind css done so now inside the first project so you should make sure you are inside your first project in the terminal then only things will work as expected so here i have installed the tailwind packages that is a tailwind css and tailwind css wheat we can ensure that everything is installed like coming to the package json here you inside the dependencies you can see tailwind css wheat and tailwind css and the version is 4.0.9 so this is the version we are using so now the tailwind packages are installed in our react project so next move on to the next step that quickly coming to the second step 
that is add at tailwind css wheat plugin to your wheat configuration so which file it's referring wheat.config.ts so we should go to this file wheat.config.ts okay for that just copy the file name and come to terminal and you can hit a shortcut like control p so inside control p we can search for files control p is the shortcut for searching for files and just control p and you can control v for pasting so you can see the file suggestion otherwise you can manually search your find file and find it from by scrolling in this section so we need to modify this file basically v.config for the shortcut you can use control p and find the file and click on the file otherwise you can come in the left side click on the wheat config here you need to make the changes given in the website first changes you need to add this line and also this line inside plugins okay i'm copying this line first quickly coming to my code and adding this line here so it's showing tailwind css is declared but it's never used okay so we have added this code here again coming back and i need to copy this line also okay if i come here and here currently we have a plugin called react i'm adding a comma and adding new line and here i am pasting the tailwind css i am making it more beautiful okay so now inside plugins if I, while saving it's getting optimized inside plugins i have tailwind css you can see plugins there is a square bracket inside the square bracket we have tailwind css same it's given here inside plugins there is a square bracket plugins is taking value as an array and inside the array we are giving tailwind css okay that's the step okay once you make the changes hit the save button moving to the step three you need to add at import to your css file that imports tailwind css you will have a css file in your wheat project you need to copy this code and use inside your css file i'm just copying this code and coming to the vs code editor and find a css file so inside the src you may find the css files like you have app.css you have index.css in any of the css file just add this so currently i'm just going inside the index css and uh, going to the top and i'm just adding this code here at import tailwind css okay i'm hitting the save and we are done with that step three next is npm run dev in the step four we have to run again and you can try some code like this start using tailwind in your html if you want to use in html you can use like this okay we will quickly go with the step four that is rerunning the project i'm going to the running one so here we are already running the project i'm just control c here so it will stop the process running and again we can run by npm run dev i have restarted our project and if i go to the browser you can see first project it's reloaded so i'm going to quickly apply tailwind css to this text for that i am going to the app.tsx we have a div here and we have a h1 here for tailwind i'm applying a tailwind css by giving class name i'm giving class name and inside the in and giving brackets and i'm giving a class name as bg green 100 so i'm giving a green background let's see whether it works or not if i come to my browser yeah bingo it has come a green background has come for the text div i haven't given the height or width that's why it's taking only wrapping the content as size so if i want a better size i can give padding as 24 or something okay these are tailwind short codes okay if i come to the browser you can see the css have applied so i have applied tailwind class names bg green 100 and b24 you can see the tailwind css got applied that means our setup is successful so this is how easily we can add tailwind css to our react.js project so if you want to change the text color i will just quickly change coming to h1 and giving the class name and inside the class name i will give as uh, text as red uh, 100 so this this intensity if i need 200 or 300 i can give like that so the color changes accordingly if i come to here and see bingo the color has successfully changed 
this is how easily we can set up Tailwind CSS to our React project and enjoy applying wonderful styling using the Tailwind CSS. So Tailwind basically makes everything easy. You can use Tailwind CSS to quickly make inline styles like this. Okay, you don't need separate CSS file to give detailed styling. Tailwind gives all the short codes using class names, predefined class names to easily style our project. So in the upcoming videos, I will show beautiful styling techniques using Tailwind and also we will be building wonderful React apps. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Do like, share and subscribe. And this is Sriraj Melad signing off. <laughs>